Hello friends, this video on surface chemistry part 19 is brought to you by exampa.com. No more PA from exam. So now we will classify the colloidal solution based on the nature of interaction. That is the nature of interaction between the dispersed phase and the dispersion medium. So I can classify the colloidal uh, solution based on the nature of interaction between my medium and particle, colloidal particles in two categories. One is lyophilic, that means they love, feeling is love, right? So when I say I love my school, similarly I say the particles love the solvent. We'll talk about this and lyophobic. So you say I hate your, my school, right? So there are two kind of people. Some people say I love my school, some people say I hate my school, right? So now if you see the whole system is my colloidal system, right? These are my particles and these are my solvent. So when you say I hate my school, that means you will not be liking your school and you will not feel comfortable there and you will not be stable, you will feel like moving out to the next school. But you, when you say you love your school, you will be happy there, you will be more stick to your school, you will be more loyal to your school, you will be performing more and you will feel like staying in the same school. Same thing, instead of you, it is particle hair and instead of school, it is solvent hair. So there are two different kind of system. In one system, the particles love their solvent. In some system, the particles hate their solvent, right? So, so part system where the particle love their solvent is called lyophilic system. That is lyophilic colloid because colloid is not particle, not solvent. Colloid is the whole system, right? The whole system of colloid particles and solvent. That's what we have seen, right? So we have two different kinds, lyophilic and lyophilic. Let's uh, understand this in a detailed way, but before that, let's um, note, take note of this point that if the dispersion medium is water, in most of the case it is, then instead of using lyophilic and lyophobic, we also use hydrophilic and hydrophobic. Correct? Because this lyo is for solvent and uh, philic and phobic is loving or hating, right? Solvent loving, solvent loving. And if the solvent is water, solvent is water, so instead of lyo we use this word hydro. So this becomes hydrophobic and hydrophilic because in most of the case solvent is water. So now let, let's understand this lyophilic and lyophobic in a little way. As I told lyophilic, philic means love, right? You say I love my school, similarly instead of I, this is a particle and love the solvent. This is the scenario where the particles love the solvent. The whole system is called colloid. Please note the whole system is called colloidal solution. Right, because the colloidal solution should have particles in the solvent. This is a very uh, important point. Neither particle nor, nor solvent is called colloidal. The whole system is called colloidal. Correct. So in this case of a lyophobic uh, colloidal, lyophobic colloidal solution or lyophobic colloids, the particles, the colloidal particles, love their solvent. Right. A good example is. Uh, gum, gelatin, starch, rubber with suitable solvent. So these are good examples. Instead of particles, I can have gum, I can have gelatin, I can have starch, I can have rubber. And I'll take a suitable solvent here um, where uh, they are more happy. Right? So these are good examples of lyophobia. Now, since they love each other, they are stable. They don't. If you love your school, you'll be more happy with your school. You won't feel like changing your school. You'll be happy in life also. Same thing. The particles love their solvent there. They are stable, right? And see, the good part about lyophobic solution is they can easily be separated by evaporation. So you evaporate, evaporation, easy separation. Now, once it is separated, that is, separation is one part, right? They can easily be remixed or they can easily be reconstructed just by mixing. So, easy separation and easy recreation or easy, yeah, recreation. You can easily recreate just by mixing. 
So since they love each other so much, even if you separate just by evaporation, you can re easily recreate it just by mixing. You mix again the particles in solvent. Since they love each other so much, right, th these particles will stick to the solvent and they, they can easily create it. They are very, very stable, right? So please note in this, the particles love their medium. They can easily be separated by evaporation, but you can easily get it back also just by mixing my solvent and solute. My solvent and particles as well. The moment you mix solvent and particles, you usually get it back. Correct? For example, uh, as I told, the milk drop and water or gelatin and water, starch and water, these kind of things, you can easily get it back. The next was lyophobic. I hate my school. If you hate your school, you won't be stable, right? You won't feel like staying in the school. Similarly, these particles hate their solvent in this case. Since they hate their solvent, what happens is they are not stable. They are not stable. Right? The example is metals, their sulfides. You see metals or their sulfides, metal sulfides. When they when you these are the particles. Metal and sulfides. These are my particles. So when you mix in some dispersion medium, any any medium, you can take you can take water or any medium, they just when you mix it, you won't get the colloidal solution. Because these metals they don't love the solvent. Or the sulfides, they don't love the solvent. But you can actually make the colloidal solution. How? They don't see you don't love your school but now if your parents are pushing you hard you actually end up going to school right and somehow you can enroll school so you're part of the school and you graduate from the school same thing so these your you don't love your school these particles don't love solvent they won't mix easily right you can't create the collide so easily but actually you can prepare by a specific method so this this won't happen on its own but by specific methods it can be mixed, right? So here the particles hate their medium, but you can actually make these particles stick to the medium by a specific method. They're not stable. They're not stable. And since they are not stable, even if you add some trigger to it, for example, you don't like your school, your parents have sent you to the school, somehow you are in the school, you are part of the system, but someday some of your friends say, Oh, this school is not good, you should not come. Somehow you are uh, enticed. Then you will come home and you will start shouting, no, I don't want to go to the school. And then you can uh, somehow ask your parents and you just go to some other school. So that way, these particles, since even they are not stable, these uh, this particles don't like the solvent, the whole system is not stable. But even by specific method, you somehow make the collides. Even a small amount of external factors, and I call this as electrolytes. We'll tell you how it works actually. A small amount of electrolytes can actually, or small amount of heating, or small amount of shaking. So these three factors can actually kick these particles out of the solvent once again, right? So if you don't love your school, a small factor can actually uh, make you leave the school. Even if your parents are forcing you to go to school, same thing here. You, the particles don't like the solvent. Somehow with specific method, you create colloids. But small factors such as uh, electrolytes you add or you heat it or you shake this whole uh, colloidal solution, the particles will be separated out. They're not stable. And now once they are separated, do you think you can easily mix them? No, because once it is separated, again it is the same scenario, particles and solvent, they don't like, they don't like each other. So if you mix them, they won't go. Same thing, once you leave the school, you don't like the school, your parents force you to come to the school, you, you form a solution, uh, you form a system. And then again, you came out of school or because of, let's suppose, some external factor. Somebody asked you, somebody told you school is not good or teacher or told you something bad. You change the school. You are out of the school now. You're not in any other school. But now you're again asked to go to the school. Will you go? No. Again, if you really want to go, or if you, I mean, somebody really pushes you hard, maybe your principal or your, your parent or someone, then only you'll go, right? So again, the same thing here. Once 
this particles are out of the solvent it is not easy to again mix this solvent and particles to make a quality solution again you need a specific method right so just understand same thing uh, the concept is pretty simple here these particles hate the solvent so actually directly if you mix the particle and solvent you won't get the colloidal solution you have to use some specific method which we'll discuss to create this colloidal solution even if you have this colloidal solution since the particles are not in love with the solvent or the medium it won't be stable even a small external factors like electrolytes or heating or shaking will kick this particles out of this solvent once this particles is out again if you try to mix it won't mix so easily again you have to use some specific methods only to create a colloidal solution right and thus some stabilizing agent is used some stabilizing agent is used for preservation for example you hate your school but if your parents say okay if you go to school daily i'll give you a chocolate so this chocolate can be a factor for you to join the school always right so these kind of uh, small small things can you know, force you to be in the school same thing stabilizing agents are used here to make this whole uh, colloid stable we'll talk about this right so a good example of this kind of uh, collides is metal metal sulfides or metal oxides also these particles in water as solvent and this whole system is my lyophobic colloids okay so let's compare this lyophobic and lyophilic once again in lyophobic lyophilic is love lyophilic is love particles love the solvent or the medium here my particles the green one hate the solvent correct you see the colloidal particles love their medium colloidal particles hate their medium right now the example is uh, my gelatin gum starch or protein these kind of uh, colloids and here uh, the example is arsenic or iron or platinum in water this is easy to prepare because they love each other easy to prepare difficult to prepare because they hate each other they are more stable since they love each other they are more stable these they hate each other particles and solvent so they are unstable and they need some stabilizers viscosity is higher than that of medium because they love and they are more sticky so it's become more thick they is higher viscosity is almost same as that of medium it is reversible actually you can separate them easily and you can just again mix them it 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 becomes a solution once again it is a little irreversible right since uh, they love each other it has less surface tension as compared to the medium since there is a heating going on here more surface tension more tension here right as compared to the medium thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre-study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again